My name's Anna Briella, and today I want to talk about the very best rules in the Age of War. Let's get to it. Okay, so usually we go for Delincia, we go for the Berserker, um, the Volcano Thrills have always been good, uh, Relic Hunters, Treasure Seekers we've used in the past. Um, sometimes they've been the absolute best rules in the game. They used to have a huge amount of health. Um, well, in the Age of War, everything has changed. The thrall health has gone down substantially and the winners and the losers have changed too. So let's talk about it. Who is it the number one slot for the damage dealing uh, fighters? Let's look at their damage modifiers. The damage modifier is a hidden number in the Thrall's profile. So in the Age of War, the absolute highest damage mod modifiers are with the cannibals, the Darfari cannibals. Thugra here and the cannibal brute who are identical Thralls in the Age of War have a 3.12 damage modifier. It's huge. Um, they start out with very low health, 429, both of them. I'm just going to kind of show you the Thugra uh, Thrall because they're exactly the same as the Cannibal Brute. I'll show you later where you can get these Thralls from. They start off with just 15 in Grit, which will give them 150 armor, which is helpful because they have very, very low health. I leveled 11. Don't ask why 11. I leveled 11 Thralls for each of these categories, and this is the best health that I could come up with. Um, 3,400. So a pretty reasonable thrall, like very, very high damage, very high damage and decent health. So you see he's gotten 22 levels in strength from leveling up. He happens to have gotten the blessed perk, if it's first perk when he's been leveling. Um, he's got extra grit. He got lost a bit of grit here as well. He, got, he gained some in agility. So I would think about putting an agility weapon on him because he has the most points in that. For each of the thralls, as I mentioned, I've spawned in I spawned in eleven of each of them, um, and you can see the average health for each of them here: two to three thousand health. Not the worst. Put them in a very high resistance armor, maybe made with a shield, right armor to keep them alive. You can put exotic feasts in your inventory. When you look at the thralls and the animals' diet uh, here, it shows you what they will eat. And this one here, in this location, regardless of whether it's an animal or a human, it'll show you the 10 heals per second food. This one here will always heal them 10 heals per second. And it'll go down to 9, 8, 7, 6, so on and so forth. So if you want this guy to heal up as fast as possible during battle um, or outside of battle, um, then I suggest you feed them exotic feast, which you can craft in the stove. And here you can see the average health of the cannibal brutes around slightly less health but just the roll of the draw uh, just the luck of the draw and don't forget you can always re-roll their perks if you make an elixir of rebirth that you can craft after you learn the recipe in sorcery you just need to learn sorcery and then you'll be able to craft that you'll be able to re-roll their perks that they get while they're leveling so these if you're not happy with these you want them to have entirely dam or mostly damage you'll never get entirely damaged generally if you want it to get mostly health that kind of thing then you can re-roll those perks. So very decent thrall, honestly. Not the most tanky. Um, you know, things have changed a lot in the Age of War. Everybody's got slightly less health in the wild um, and everybody does a bit more damage. Uh, but this is a big change because the Dofari are one of the earliest factions that you come across um, on the Exiled Lands and they have always been pretty weak. So this is, this is an interesting change. So these guys, the cannibals have 3.12. What about your other favourite thralls? That you've got in your base um, or anyone you want to kind of go out and f capture in the wild are there any are they any good so the sumerian berserker have 2.24 which is obviously a big drop from the cannibal brute this is 2.24 at delincia has 2.23 so very little difference pretty much the same in terms of damage and they start with 2549 the berserker and delincia 2745 okay so she has a slightly like slightly boosted health compared to the Berserker. Um, they both come with the same starting points, 15 in strength, 30 in vitality. You can see the same for her, 15 and 30. Um, and the Berserker will level up. This is the best I managed to get out of about 11 thralls, leveling them through admin commands. And this Berserker got up to 4,000 health and Delincia 4,600. So you're probably going to get a little bit more health out of your Delincia, a tiny bit less damage. Um, so yes, pretty much, pretty much the same. I would personally, I'm just kind of like Delincia. I'd probably still go for Delincia's or Berserkers, whichever, um, if I wanted to capture these thralls. So how would the volcano thralls fare? Oh, how on earth? 
How did you spawn in here? That was a that was a mistake, sir. You made a mistake. Okay, let's move on. So volcano thralls. How did he spawn in here? So <laughs> volcano thralls. This is why I come anyway. Let's move on. So volcano thralls. Um, all the volcano fighters have the same damage mod modifier, and they're exactly the same. So Dacus the Sharp, Spinus the Marauder, uh, Kisses Flesh Terror, Eri the Ravager. I may have forgotten somebody, but those uh, fighter thralls, if it says fighter, they've all got the same damage modifier and they all have the same sort of stats, health and everything like that. So I'm not going to go through each of them separately. Um, I've just got Dacus the Sharp here as an example, but he's the same as the others. So he comes out of the box with 1,838 health and 15 strength and 10 vitality. He also has a little bit in agility and a little bit in grit. OK, um, and after leveling 11 of them, this is the health that he got. So, yeah, not very tanky, not very tanky. Put him in heavy armor. Um, still a decent thrall. You could use him if you want to, but not the best. He's also not that easy to get, uh, Dacus particularly. Um, Kiss this and Eri, um, you can find a lot more commonly in the volcano, but Dacus the Sharp and Spinus the Marauder seem to not uh, spawn quite as frequently. So then we go down to the next. I, I spawned in a bunch of different thralls, by the way, to, to get these, and I just put them all out and laid them out, and I was surprised by some of the results. Um, so after the Volcano Thrall, the next in line with the best damage modifier that I could find was Deirdre Deathbringer or Frigga False Hope, who are identical thralls again. There's like a lot of like duplicate thralls in the game at the moment. Both of these, a good place to find those is in Sinner's Refuge um, in uh, near New River. Uh, which is just a fantastic place to get crafting thralls anyway you get brimstone in there too you can get named uh mitra priests things like that named alchemists quite easily in there so yeah she comes out of the box with 2.8 as a damage modifier uh, which is pretty cool very little health 600 health so she's going to be very 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 fragile when you start to use her and the best health i managed to get after leveling 11 through adamant commands was just one and a half thousand so she's she's not very tanky but she hits pretty hard 2.08 not too bad i wouldn't choose her but um don't be surprised if when you go in the exile in the in sinner's refuge if you get killed more quick more easily than you would have in the past because they all seem to the wild ones seem to hit a lot harder and again with frigga the best health i managed to get from her was 1427 so you might get better than that so let's see what her perks are yep she got robust uh she got born warrior so she got a bit extra damage a little less in agility a little extra in grit a little less in agility so you know but you can re-roll these perks and maybe you get her some you know maybe if you get some more health perks then she could be a bit tankier then we've got at 1.92 we've got the warrior of sobek this is a difficult to get thrall because everybody in this sobek cave hits incredibly hard um has a lot of health um and it's you know it could be a fun challenge for you if you really want one the archers are not thrallable but these fighters uh you'll see are so if you want those then these are their stats seven in strength seven in vitality best health i managed to get was three thousand from from one of these um after leveling 11. so janos and Leon, another duplication of thralls, as far as I could tell. Um, they seem to come out the box with exactly the same health, they seem to have the same stats, and they have the same damage modifier. So we've got 30 strength, 10 vitality, and 5 grit. A little bit of resistance. Um, this one doesn't have a very good damage modifier compared to, if you think about the, the, the exiles. They're lower than the exiles, which is really surprising, because he's always been a bit of a favourite. But he does do pretty well in the health department. After levelling 11 of these... Uh, 11 Janos's, I managed to get 4,495. So pretty good health from the Nordheimers. If you compare these again to 1,400, um, 2,800, 4,600. So there you go. Not not too difficult to get hold of. Um, and he's a bit of a favourite. So yeah, decent health. Relic Hunters have been pretty pretty badly nerfed they have a damage modifier of 1.677 i don't really know why i feel like the relic hunters should be pretty tough um they used to be the at one point they were the absolute best hitters in the game they had very good health they hit very hard um and but they are fairly easy very abundant on the map so i don't know maybe that's why they've been nerfed so badly maybe it's something to do with the law i don't know who knows um but these come out of the box with 1763 health and the best I could get out of levelling 11 of them was 3,524. There's a bunch of different varieties with different weapons. They all have exactly the same stats. So you can see they come out of the box with 20 agility, 
10 vitality and 15 grit. So a bit of resistance there. And, and you want to make sure that you use agility weapons on these, ideally. And put them in agility armor, give them agility buffs if that's what you're going to do. Um, but they're agility thralls. Those are things like bows, daggers, short swords, katanas, things like that. Um, although there are a bunch of legendaries that have had big changes recently, you can get some agility hammers, agility um, agility bows and strength bows. It's a bit of mixing, so make sure you check when you pick up weapons, including some two-handed swords as well, which I really like. So that's the fighters. So Thugra and the Brute, uh, just to sum up for the fighters, uh, Thugra and the Brute, uh, best damage and decent health, really surprisingly decent health, potentially, and easy to get abundant on the map thugger is 100 percent spawn the cannibal brute is i think 100 percent spawn in the summoning place i will show you at the end of the video so particularly in pvp i would suggest you grab a bunch of these um, and level them up so what about the rest of the thralls the best answers for a long time have always been leonil and oivin Tooltree in terms of damage and health there's a lot of different name dancers around the map leonil is from mount of the dead and oivin Tooltree is from azagarth however we have a new champion Ancina Hidden Daggers, who is the dancer from the Darfari Cannibals faction, has now has 2.4 as her damage modifier. Leonil has only 1.6. Oivan has 1.32. So Ancina will hit like a truck. She starts off with 429 health, just the same as Thugra or the Cannibal Brute. Um, but actually, you can level her to a decent health age of war decent health right no big tankiness but if you want to if you want to take a dancer around with you if you're not running a corrupted build you want to take a fighter and a dancer when you go to the unnamed city uh, or you're just running around the map and you want to clear your corruption as you go or you just want a good fighter she only has points in grit just like thugra and the cannibal brute that's all she comes with um, so you could give her any kind of weapon if you want to. There's no preference here. You could give her an agility weapon or a strength weapon. Put her in good armor. Make sure you level her slowly. I would start leveling her with just animals, maybe just killing crocodiles along the river. Or you could then build up to skeletons in the Unnamed City. That's my favorite place to level thralls is the Unnamed City. Avoid the bosses to start with, definitely. So yeah, Antina is the best. And then next down we have Leonil, who's 1.6, as I mentioned, as her damage modifier. And out of the box, she comes with 15 strength and 30 vitality. So you want to put a strength weapon on her if you're going to if you're going to take her out to fight or level or protect you in the world, clear your corruption, help you heal. They help you heal as well. The dancers. It doesn't matter which level they are; they will all help heal the same amount. Um, but depending on the level of the thrall, the higher tier the thrall, the faster they'll clear your corruption. And you can see that she gets up to 3,800 health this is out of just 10 you could maybe you could get better than this you can see she's got baron's traveler and redeemed very good perk for health and a bit of extra a bit of extra agility so if you want her to have the most health I'll, maybe i wouldn't re-roll this one's perks because she's done pretty well with vitality she's a strength thrall so i would put a strength weapon on her so then we have oivind tall tree why would you want to use him he's only got 1.32 um, damage modifier. Well, you know, it's hard to get a Leonil or to get an Oivin. So if you find one, you might want to use him. 1.32. Um, he has 30 strength, 10 vitality and 5 grit. He's a strength thrall, so a strength weapon on him. His damage modifier is lower than Leonil's, but the Nordheimers level well in HP. So if you want him to be more tanky, then you could definitely make use of him. This is how this one has leveled. Look at these HP stats. Very good. So this is out of 11 Oivins. It's luck of the draw, but you can always re-roll his perks. If you want your Thrall to level the most in Vitality, if you want to squeeze out the last percentage chance, then I suggest you give them Grilled Steak. So then what about Bearers? Bearers, named Bearers, are can be pretty tough to find. Um, there's a bunch of spawn points around the map. I will show you on the map later. I've had pretty good luck on my Age of War play through this chapter. Um, I have found three named bearers so far. Two that I have leveled. One of them is just under 10,000 health and one of them is at 12,000 health. So they're very, very tanky, which I think is the right decision. Because if you've got these guys carrying your valuables around the map, especially in PvP, you want to make sure that these guys are not going to die too easily. So their damage modifier is very low. It's 0 0.5. You want to give them either a very good strength weapon or agility weapon because they don't seem to favor either. Put them in strength or agility buffing armor. You can also give them potions and food that will buff either of those things. I will make a video about that fairly soon. But I have been running around with uh, a named bearer with about 9,000 health who happened to level really well in strength 
and with a very, very good weapon, such as Hanuman's Gadder, which does a huge amount of damage. Some of the legendaries have really been buffed hugely. They're fantastic. Um, you can still you can still go around killing bosses, um, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, they come out of the box with 4,000 health, which is brilliant. Nice start. And then I leveled about 10 of them, and without giving them anything, just admin leveled them. And you can see some of them are over 10, some of them are less. As I say, I've got one on my playthrough who's got 12,000, and the other one has 9,000. So a great thrall for just running around the map, doing dungeons and uh, running into NPC camps. I really like these guys because I've been running an agility agility grit build on the Age of War um, and I've been using my legendary bow quite a lot. So they're carrying stacks of arrows for me. You want to keep your weight down for uh, if you're doing an agility build and having someone to carry a bunch of arrows for you when you want to go out for the day. You don't have to worry about nipping back and forth to get more arrows. Then these guys have been absolutely fantastic. So we've looked at the damage modifiers for these thralls. Let's talk about some caveats. Thugra starts out with zero strength, zero agility, zero vitality, and 15 grit. Same as a cannibal brute, who, as I say, is the same thrall. 150 grit bonus. He's got 1,225 XP to level to the first, to get to the first level. So is he the best? Well, he could be. He could be, but it depends how much he gets when he levels up in strength or agility, right? Because this number is going to affect how hard he hits. Let's compare him to the Berserker. Berserker starts with 15 strength and 30 vitality. So he's already got 2,549 HP straight out the box. And if you put this guy in a fight against Thugra, he's going to win. He's got more health, he's going to live longer. He only has to do a couple of hits before Thugra is dead, whereas Thugra has to hit him a few more times. Thugra has got... 3.12 as his damage modifier, but he doesn't have any starting strength. So you want to take all these factors into account before you choose your thrall. Thugra is easy to get. He has a 100% spawn rate, as does the cannibal brute. So you could level them up, see how they do, but they're not necessarily the best. Make sure you check how many points he gets in strength as he levels. Also, you might want to see what kind of health he gets. We're mainly farming bosses, NPC camps. I want to make sure that my thrall doesn't die. I want them to do as much damage to a boss as possible, but I also want them to survive any like bursts of damage. And in an NPC camp where like Azagarth, new Azagarth in the north, if they get surrounded by a bunch of enemies, they could get stunned so that they can't hit back and a decent amount of HP is going to be valuable to you. So this is why as a everyday thrall that I'm just running around the map with going to NPC camps, going into dungeons, farming the wine cellar, the war maker, the top dungeons, running around with a bunch of arrows. I'm really, really happy with a named bearer in this chapter. If I spec for war party and decide to take a second fighter, a second person, I might take a dancer and I probably would opt for Ancina, but it will depend on how much health she gets. And I need to make sure I put her in, he in heavy armor to protect her. She may end up with as little as 1,500 health. So I've got to keep an eye on her if I do take her with me. It really does depend on the thrall. And I think they've done this on purpose because they want you to invest in your thralls and um, and have a reason to keep leveling them. If everybody levels exactly the same, you just do it once and then you're done. And obviously they want you to keep playing the game and have more things to do. So be careful if people tell you you've got to have this one thrall, no one else is any good. It really is very situational. And you might want to think about using different thralls for different types of activities. Now I'm going to show you where to find each of these thralls on the map. Let's start with Thugra. So Thugra spawns between G and H6. Right here. This is his camp. He's 100% spawn rate here. And you can knock him out every 15 minutes when he respawns. The Cannibal Brute. A great place to find the Cannibal Brute is at the summoning place in the centre of the map between G and H5. They can sometimes spawn on this side. There you go, see one lying down here. And you can sometimes find them on the right side as you enter the camp. Another great place to find them is at Skulker's End, which is between D and E4. So you can see we can find one outside the Dregs dungeon here. A Sumerian Berserker. This role has a 100% spawn rate and wanders around the waters around the Mounds of the Dead between B and C11. Sometimes it's a man, sometimes it's a lady. Be careful, this one is heavily armored and hits incredibly hard in the wild. I prefer to knock this one out solo, so I don't have to worry about my thrall. Put down a bedroll if you're new to the game, and use the very best truncheon that you can. Delincia Snowhunter. Delincia has four spawns at Mount of the Dead, and another at Stargazer's Crest. You can find her at this mound at Mount of the Dead. She also spawns as this wandering fighter here. She spawns at what I affectionately call the Circle of Death, because the 
there's a lot of enemies that spawn in here. She can be one of these fighters. And she can also be this wandering fighter thrall here. Then the next place to look for her is Stargazer's Crest, up here on the map, at the top of C11. This is a decent place to find her. It's also a good spawn point for Leoniel. The Volcano Thralls you can find in the Volcano, which is this large, dark section on the map. So here we found an Eri the Ravager, who is exactly here. But bear in mind that they can spawn all around the NPC camps. And the Volcano named fighters will also spawn in the Well of Skelos, guarding the Well of Skelos on the outside and once you go, once you teleport into the dungeon in the Volcano. These guys will try and kill you on sight, so do be careful. Janos and Leon, the Ann, Lion. Leon is the easiest to find with a 100% spawn rate at Leon's Watch, here on the map, between F and G10. But you can find Leon or Janos at Leon's Watch. You can find Janos at Leon's Watch, Mammoth Rider's Shanty, Meadow Watch, New Azagarth, Rhymefisher's Rhyme Fisher's Hut, Stormwatch, The Ward Towers, Trapper's Cabin, and In the Purge. Okay, so let's look at dancers now. Bear in mind, the dancers are fairly rare spawns. They don't spawn in very frequently. Um, they tend to spawn wherever there is a dancer spawn for their faction. So wherever you see a dancer um, for a dancer at Mounds of the Dead, it might be a Leonil. Wherever you see a, a dancer at a Darfari camp, it could be a, an Encina. And or even Tall Tree, the best place to find him is Azagarth. Encina has a chance to spawn where there's a, wherever there's a dancer. The summoning place, which I showed you before, between G and H5. So if you're coming here to find a cannibal brute, maybe one of the times you pick one up, you'll find an Encina. I have only ever seen her once on one of my playthroughs, so, you know, it might take you a while to find her. Uh, but she also spawns at Riverwatch Camp, Spinebreaker's Flank, Cannibal's Rest, The Corner of Bones, and Skulker's End. Leoniel, a favourite amongst many, with her great HP. She's always been a decent choice. I've had the best chance of finding Leoniel at Mount of the Dead in B11. Right here. You can find her in this spawn location. There's usually an archer next to her. In case you're using timestamps, I'll, uh, I'll show you again. She can spawn up here at Stargazer's Crest with Delincia. Um, they won't necessarily spawn at the same time. You'd be incredibly lucky if you got them at the same time. But yeah, she spawns here in C11. Oyvind Talltree. I have personally only ever found Oyvind Talltree in this particular mound in Azagarth, right in the line between E and F, 10. But you can also find him at Coldfish Camp, Leon's Watch, Meltwater Crag, Nordhoff, and in the Perch. So you want a tanky thrall to carry your stuff around. Where are you going to get a named bearer? Named bearers spawn wherever a bearer can spawn. They share the spawn points. So you have you have the best chance of getting them at the Black Galleon, where there are four bearer spawns, which is here on the map. It's kind of eye shape. This is where we are right here. This is the first bearer spawn. This is bearer number two. And the spawn points for bearers three and four are on the ship. Bearer number three is here at the top with a dancer. And the fourth bearer spawn is downstairs at the very bottom of the ship. My second favourite place to look for bearers is at the den in E8. There's a bearer that spawns right by the entrance, another just down the slope on your right, and the third bearer is lying on the ground having some sunshine. But keep your eye open while you travel around the map. Wherever a bearer spawns, you have a chance of finding a named one. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your favourite thralls in the Age of War. If you like, I'll do a follow-up video about weapons, armour and archers. You can catch me live streaming my Age of War playthrough on twitch.tv forward slash Anna Stop by and say hi.